Hey, it's Adam, and today we're going to do a tutorial on NFC tags with MFC deck. Now, before we get started, you may ask, NFC, MFC, is there a connection? And the answer is yes. Before it was called MFC deck, the app was called NFC deck because the original purpose of the app was to supercharge your use of NFC tags and shortcuts. But as the app gained more functionality and more power, I changed the name to MFC deck, which stands for Multifunction Control Deck. So let's get started. First off, what are NFC tags? NFC tags are little pieces of circuitry that when you tap on them with an NFC reader, such as an iOS device, you can do an action. You can read data from the NFC tag, or you can actually trigger a shortcut to run on your device. So uh, NFC tags come in various shapes and sizes. These are a bunch of stickers of NFC tags. You can buy about a hundred of these for $32 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the show notes down below. They can also be placed into hotel key cards. Here's one for the Beverly Hilton and another key card. We're going to be using this for our demo. So let's get started. Here we have my iOS device and we're going to launch shortcuts and go to the automation tab here. And we have a bunch of automations already set up for NFC tags. I'm going to cover those in just a moment. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new personal automation that runs when I tap on this NFC tag embedded in this hotel key card. I'm going to tap create personal automation. I'm going to scroll down and tap on NFC. Tap scan and now the iPhone says ready to scan. Hold your device near the NFC tag. And there we go. I'm going to name the tag IHG card because that's the hotel card it's called. And I'm going to tap next. Now I can add my shortcut actions here. I could run a shortcut or I could just add all the actions directly into this section. I personally like to run shortcuts because it's easier to edit the shortcut within the shortcuts app, not within the automations tab. But for this simple example, we're just going to add two actions here and say the IHG card has run. And then I'm going to add a speak text action. Here we go. And next, now with the NFC personal automation, you can have it run without confirmation, which means if you tap the tag, the shortcut will run. Nothing's going to pop up asking you to run a shortcut. And you do that by disabling ask before running. I'm going to tap done. So let's test this out. I'm going to tap the tag. The IHG card has run. The shortcut should have run and spoken. Uh, what I had written in the shortcut. Let's see, I forgot about that. What does it say? The IH key card has run. Let's try that again. Tap done. The IH key card has run. And the automation should have run. Now, because I have my iOS device plugged into the HDMI, I actually don't see the notifications. But if I bring up Notification Center, I can see that the card has run. Now, how does this work with MFC deck. Uh, and why would you want to put NFC tag support into MFC deck? Well, the short answer is if you have an NFC tag defined within your uh, automation tab, you can only run the actions that you've defined here when you tap on the tag. You can't have like another set of actions that run uh, when you tap on the same card. You could if you program the shortcut, but then you're going to get much more complicated shortcut. You're going to have like a bunch of if statements like if it's the morning, do this. And if it's the evening, do that. Um, if you're at this location, do this. If you're at this uh, another location, do that. And it just gets more complicated. Or what if you wanted to have a limit on uh, the number of times you could run this tag so you could only run it once per 30 seconds, okay? Uh, you'd have to add a lot of the logic to your shortcut and it just gets complicated, especially if you have a lot of shortcuts that you assign to other NFC tags, which I have as you can see in my uh, list of personal automations. So what I've done here is create a physical deck. This is my NFC deck. You can see why, where the name came from. So it's basically just a, a little a, a notebook on which I've placed 20 NFC tag stickers. So in a five by four grid. And if we take a look at the NFC deck app, NFC deck app, I tap on the NFC deck deck, we'll see a very similar 
uh, representation of that physical deck. So we have this and we have this and five um, columns in four rows. Okay. So this top one corresponds to the top one on this physical deck. And then the bottom right corner corresponds to the one down there. Okay. And I named them A1 through D5. And we can take a look again. We go back to the shortcuts app. We see I have a bunch of um, these NFC tags, when A1 is detected, when A2 is detected, run this. And the shortcut automation is actually very simple. It tells the MFC deck helper app to run this tag, A1. And what that does is when MFC deck helper runs, it says, I'm going to look at the current deck. Is there a card with the tag A1? If so, run it. If not, is there a default deck defined in MFC deck? If so, does A1 tag exist? If so, run it. So we can take a look here. I'm in the NFC deck app, and I'm going to run the D5 tag, which is the one, again, in the bottom right corner. So if we take a look here, I'm going to run this card, tap this, and with any luck, the lights are going to turn off in the office. And they just did. So now, I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to say run a shortcut. This is for the B1 tag. And I'm going to say podcast purple. So now we're at the B1, which is this one. And I'm going to tap the tag. And with any luck, the lights will come back on to the podcast lights. Now, how does this work with uh, to perform multiple actions with the same tag? That's where you have the concept of multiple decks. So we have this NFC deck, which we just take a, took a look at. I'm going to go drill down into it, and I have an NFC evening deck. Let's take a look at that. Right now, there's only five tags defined, or six tags defined. And the last one is the office off flashlight on uh, card, which is also assigned to the D5 tag. So again, this bottom right tag. And what that does is it's going to run a shortcut, which we take a look get out of this automation. Here we go. It's going to turn the flashlight on and turn off the office lights. So the original D5 in the NFC deck, all it did was it ran, ran the turn off office lights shortcut. But this one, I turn off the lights, I turn the flashlight on. Additionally, it also runs the threshold sleep shortcut, which actually puts this computer to sleep. We don't want to do that. So I put it in an if statement right here. So it doesn't run. So now, Let's close this out. Let's go back here. Go back to NFC deck. Now, if it's the evening and I tap this exact same NFC tag, it's going to run a different shortcut. Lights turn on, turn off, and the flashlight turns on. Now, how do we get the deck to change automatically? That's very easy. You could have an automation that runs at, say, 8 o'clock p.m. And what that would do is it would switch the default deck from the NFC deck to the evening deck. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I have, actually, a bunch of shortcuts that run automatically throughout the day. This is another deck. And we take a look here. Evening deck. And it's basically setting the deck at what time? Every day from 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. If this uh, deck runs at all during that time period, it will set the deck, the default deck to the evening deck. So in the morning, we take a look, the morning deck, actually the default deck, uh, I set it from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. If this thing runs, it will set my default deck to the normal NFC deck. That way, I don't have to think about it throughout the day I just know that when I tap on this during the day, it's going to run my kind of like my default deck. But in the evening, it's going to run all the shortcuts that I've defined in the evening deck. So let's take a look at another example. We have a clipboard, which also uh, rep is represented in an NFC deck style format of a five by four grid. And we see um, a bunch of commands that we can run on the contents of the clipboard. So if we take a look at uh, here. We have some text here. So I'm just going to select this text here. 
and I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. You can run this whole deck from MFC deck app itself. Okay. You don't have to run it um, by tapping on things. So if I, for instance, just tapped on uppercase here, it's going to basically modify the contents of the clipboard. I say paste. Everything's been uppercased. Okay. And let's say I copied this to the clipboard that let's say I want to turn it into a slug. That's the B1 tag. So I would tap this. Shortcut pasted from notes, and I'll paste this in. And you can see that that piece of text has been created into a slug, which I can use in like HTML or a markdown document. So there you go, how to use NFC tags with MFC deck. To recap, if you have a bunch of NFC tags lying around the house, whether in sticker form or maybe you have some hotel key cards, open up the personal automation section within shortcuts and scan that tag and add some shortcuts to it. If you have MFC deck, which I hope so if you're watching this video, you can assign the same tag to different decks within MFC deck. And depending on which deck is currently active or which one is set as the default deck, a different thing will run when you tap on the NFC tag. You can do a whole lot more with MFC deck. You can, for instance, add rate limiting, which means if you have an NFC tag, and you tap on it, you can define it so that it won't run again for another five minutes or another minute or an hour or maybe even a day. You can change the frequency um, or the schedule of NFC tags so that if you tap on it, it will only work on, say, Sunday and Saturday, or it will only work on the weekdays. There's a whole lot of custom customization that you can do with your NFC tags within MFC deck. So I encourage you to check it out and stay tuned for the next video on how to make the most out of MFC deck. Talk to you later.